Hey guys, Luke here. A uh, long time since my last video. I've been quite busy since I got back from sea, uh, studying and I've just bought a house of my own. So pretty soon I'll be packing up shop here and uh, moving into my very own garage, which I'm pretty excited about. It's a big step for me. But uh, I have done a little bit of work on the mill, as you probably noticed, I've got a belt drive kit on there now. Um, that's increased the spindle RPM to about 4,500, but I run it at about 3,800, uh, just so I'm not maxing it out. Uh, hopefully you squeeze a bit more life out of it. Uh, I got it from Benchtop Precision. Scott there uh, was prototyping some kits and I put my hand up for one. He's done a beautiful job and uh, I've put a lot of hours on it since installing it and no problem so far, only good things to say. So at the moment I'm working on my power drawbar which I hope to have finished maybe tonight or tomorrow. But I'll make a separate video about that. Uh, I just wanted to show you a bit of the belt drive in action and uh, the chips I can now remove. So, pretty stoked with it, and uh, as you can probably tell by how many chips are in the box there, been doing a lot of machining <laughs> to keep me sane. So, yeah, let's have a look at this belt drive. So, yeah, it's a pretty nice bit of gear. Um, I suggest you contact them and uh, protest that you have one on your own mill because I think he I don't think he's going to produce them but a uh, very nice bit of gear definitely a worthwhile upgrade um, I also put one of these in the spindle from Hoss he sent me the file it's a 3d printed spacer and that just takes up that little bit of backlash between this the drive um, sleeve and the splines um, so now it's super quiet it runs really great and uh, oh yeah I also got a 3d printer just recently so I've been printing some things this is going to have a little light ring of LEDs which will go on the spindle, so I'll make a separate video about that. Stuff to look forward to. Um, but yeah, so I'm just making one of the final parts for my power drawbar. And um, yeah, it's making some serious chips, so I'll just do some video of that so you can take a look. Um, but yeah, until next time, um, stay tuned for my power drawbar. Hopefully it works as intended. Alright, Luke out.
guys, we just finished that part and it took uh, just under 13 minutes, which I'm really stoked about. It's quite a bit of material to remove, so I'll just do a finishing pass now just to clean it up, show you the same. clean up all these chips yeah not sure if you can see too well but it's a really really nice finish okay guys catch you when I finish my power drawbar <laughs>